Hey gents, every day I get pitched products between my email inbox and then in the comments section, I get the range from products that should never be created or have no relevance to what I do, products that are like pretty good, I'm not always interested in, I don't really think would apply, or you're not really, you're not really interested in, and then like one out of 15 times, I get products that are like so perfect, and that's what happened today. Today we're going to take a look at a product called Zip Seam, which solves a problem that I have, and I believe you do as well, which is to get shirts to fit slimmer, but you don't always wanna pay the tailor tax, or uh, you kinda wanna do it yourself. There's, and so I'm really curious to open this up, because in good unboxing fashion, I haven't done any of that yet. And I've talked about this before, this is my favorite, one of my favorite flannel shirts, and I tailored it myself. I grabbed my mom's sewing machine uh, whenever I did this, what, five years ago, and tailored it myself. This fit cut out, came out really well, but not everybody can do that, and I think the zip seam is a way to get that look, and I'm gonna try it on this shirt, because as you can see, uh, and I'll show you in a, in a closer try on. It's a little bit wider than I'd like. I'd like to slim it up and I think this might be the perfect solution. So let's open this up so that I can try it out. I'll show you how it works and then I'll give it some time to see how things go. Here we go. So this is like a channel that goes into the side of the shirt and then you lay this string inside to lock in the fit. And I think what this might be perfect for is not just to slim down your shirts for a better look, but also to be a guide so that you can tailor your own shirts. I know I tease that video all the time, but I'm, I promise I'm gonna do it in 2019. Uh, so zip seam, I'll put links if you wanna check it out, but let's jump over to a different view so you can see, I'll install it, the before and after on the fit, and then I'll wear it for a few days to see how it works out before I uh, post this, and so I'll wrap it up uh, in the video. So this is the zip seam out of the box, let's go put it in. Yeah, so you can see on this shirt, like I could easily go in an inch and a half, maybe two, uh, and I can tuck it, but then you get like the bulging around the shirt, and so let's get the zip seam on. All right, so I have my shirt inside out, so I can be on the inner seam here. And then I pulled my sleeve through because that made it easier to get this out. So I think ideally where I want to land is that the seam were to go, ideally the seam goes all the way through the sleeve. That's how I tailor the shirts. So you might need a second one to run all the way up the sleeve, but it's made so that you can basically get this from the bottom of your shirt to the sleeve and then pinch this off uh, and that becomes how long the shirt is. And then I know on most of my shirts I have to come into about here, but you also want to follow a taper so that the bottom remains slightly flared out, especially if you leave it untucked. The center becomes one of the most, the tighter parts of the shirt and then keep it pretty slim but not too slim up as you get to the shoulder uh, because then you're gonna end up with a little bit of baggy arms. So you take the zip seam, you figure out where you wanna place it, and then you essentially use a credit card to put the fabric into the seam, and then you place this string in. So I'm gonna do that right now so that I can see how it works. All right, so the first seam, I didn't go quite as far in as I might need to, but I think the idea is you do this first, you try it on, and then you lock it in with a string. So let's do the other side. And I did learn something that's kind of obvious, is that when you are doing this, uh, when I was tailoring my own shirts, you need to make sure you're doing the same amount on each side, otherwise you're gonna get lopsided looking shirts and then your, your beeline won't really fit. So just keep that in mind uh, as you're doing the zip seam. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's go try it on. All right, so a few weeks with the zip seam. Let's wrap this thing up. So you can see, I mean, you still have them in. When the weather's really cold, you can kind of feel the plastic and it gets a little bit chilly, uh, but it, otherwise it's pretty good. What I'm trying to do after, you know, washing the, washing the shirts a couple of times and, and really wearing the shirts with the zip seam is, is putting myself into like my college age self when I didn't have access to a tailor, didn't have access to a sewing machine, but I still wanted slimmer fitting shirts. Like today, I'm gonna go get a custom shirt or I'm gonna use my sewing machine right here, I'm gonna go to a tailor. But the zip seam substitutes all of that and it's a really cost effective way to get you slimmer shirts quickly. And then what I would do too is if you're into you know a little bit of DIY, is I would use the zip seam to test it out on a shirt, to test out the silhouette, making it a little bit slimmer, and then actually use the zip seam as the anchor for when you can then tailor your own shirt. So I would get the zip seam, get it fitting right, wear it for a couple of days, see if that fits, and then I would just go ahead and sew it right off and finish it off with the sewing machine so that you can then slim your own shirts long term. So the zip seam gives you the option to like, you know, adjust it a little bit, but then you can get it right and, and do it. So the zip seam, it's only a few bucks. I would at least give it a shot if you're trying to get slimmer fitting shirts, but you don't, you either don't want to go to the tailor, you know, or you want to pay the tailor tax or something else along those lines. So I think it's pretty good. I think just 25% discount, I'll put that down below. Uh, this video is not sponsored, just a cool product that I thought you guys would be interested in. And if you have other stuff like this, I'm always open to comments down below. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. That's how I get some great ideas for videos directly from you guys. So thank you for watching. And as always, until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.